I'm Eddie Field with Field Guide to DIY. You may have seen the video that I did on the Ryobi Air Grip Laser Level or the video that I did on the Bosch Self Leveling Cross Line Laser. Well, the good folks at Kaiweets saw these videos and they wanted me to check out their product. So they sent me the KT368 Laser Level and they asked me to check it out. Very well packaged, has its own carrying case, has a user manual, very well crafted carrying case. Mounting bracket, that is magnetic. USB charging adapter, charge cord. The battery pack, a magnetic sight. And the unit itself. It already has a battery pack on it, so that is an extra that you can charge while one was in use. And there are the lasers. Before we get into it, a word of safety. Never look into the laser. You can burn your retina. Never leave children unattended around this unit or others like it. They can cause permanent eye damage. And here's your push button control. This is where you toggle through what mode you would like to be using. First time you switch it on, you switch it on from lock to unlock and you'll see the lasers immediately fire up. You'll also notice the charge indicator on the side of the battery pack. That's extremely helpful. When you switch it on, the lasers will flash until they're calibrated and self-adjusted. At that point, it's level. I'll look around the shop and you'll see that it casts a very bright beam. About 20 feet away, the beam is less than an eighth of an inch thick. You toggle through the modes by pressing the mode button. So zero is horizontal laser line. One is front vertical laser line. Two is front vertical laser line and side vertical laser line. Three is horizontal laser line and front vertical laser line. Four is horizontal laser line, front vertical laser line, and side vertical laser line. Five is horizontal laser line, and that's how you cycle through. So when the laser level is in the unlock position, that's when it is self-leveling. When it's in the lock position, it is no longer self-leveling. That's for use if you have a project that is not level. Like if you wanted a diamond pattern or custom angles. Put it in the lock position and then cycle through the mode. Hold the mode button for three seconds. And that's how you get that line to come on. And adjust it to a, a custom angle, like a 45 degree. And again, you can cycle through your presets. On a completely non-self-leveling mode. And then when you're done, hold it in for three seconds. Powering it off. The Kiwi's KT... 360A comes with a very powerful magnetic base that can be attached. The base simply threads on there and tightens up. And now the magnetic catches can work on any magnetic surface, like a garage door or a ladder. And the fact that it's self-leveling comes in really handy. You can also purchase a laser receiver, which is not included, if you had a laser receiver, you could set the KT360A into pulse mode and it would find the laser receiver. Now it's pulsing looking for a receiver. The magnetic target can be used for exceptionally long distances in bright conditions. To release the battery, simply depress the thumb catch and roll it away from the side of the unit. And replacing it, insert the tabs and snap it into position. The Kiwi's laser level has an exceptional three year for purchase manufacturer's warranty. You charge the batteries either on the unit or off the unit with the USB adapter and cord. Simply lift off the jack protection and insert the power cord right there. And the indicator indicates that it's charging. It will stop flashing when charging is complete. I'll tell you what, I'm really impressed with this unit and it's gonna come in quite handy when, with our next project, uh, the board and batten in the bedroom. That's not easy to say. And the shiplap upstairs. Be great for tile work, drywall, and any other number of projects you can think of. I recommend it. I'm Eddie Field with Field Guide to DIY. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in purchasing one, click the link in the description.